I used to work in banking, I used to work for the Royal Bank of Scotland and I hated it. I thought I'd quit, I went travelling for six months in South America and obviously while you're away you need your haircut at some point. So I bought myself some clippers, watched a few YouTube videos and I cut my own hair and it came out alright. After that the guys who I was travelling with, they was asking me to cut their hair and then it went from cutting my mate's hair who I was travelling with to other people in hostels that I was staying in. While I was there, I was thought, this is actually a pretty sweet job. You know, people out there were either giving me money, buying me lunch, or buying me a couple of beers. And I thought, oh, maybe this could work out when I come back. My particular strengths is clipper work. So anything from like skin fades, zero fades, plenty of texture through the top. But I'd say my most specific thing is shaving. A luxury shaves, express shaves, like loads of shave work, and clipper work generally my, my forte. My missus has told me hundreds of times to just stop talking about barbering. Just have a day off, stop talking about it. You know, we'll be down the pub. People will ask me, oh, how's barbering going? But they'll probably just ask me just as a general question, but then I'll go off for an hour talking about it. Oh, I've been here, I've been doing all these events here, there and everywhere. And this guy came in the other day and all this sort of thing. So it's sort of become like a massive passion. Say if you have a new client that comes in, you cut his hair. He's been somewhere before where he's had a £10 haircut. He comes in, he sits down, he has a glass of rum. You see them relax and then they start opening up to you and then when they next come back, that's the most satisfying thing. When they next come back through that door and you're like, he really enjoyed that service last time because obviously he wouldn't be back if he didn't.